Hello everyone, I am Mark Major. This is the Action Figuratorium, and today we're going to be talking specifically about toy photography, specifically about outdoor toy photography, and even more specific, we're going to be talking about using a bounce card in your outdoor action figure photography. So uh, everybody should uh, stick around. All right, maybe you are someone who does action figure photography, or maybe you're somebody who's a fan of the genre of action figure photography, and you want to know some uh, low-budget inside tips as to how you can make some of your pics look particularly uh, fantastic. And uh, today we're going to be going through some pictures which I took of a uh, new action figure to the Atorium that I wanted to get some test shots of. Uh, let's talk about our subject. This is uh, from the company Joy Toy, and uh, it comes in a box about this big. If you look down the little screen, you'll see me waving it. And uh, this guy's name is Simon, and the dog's name is Spud. He's part of their Scavengers series that has come out this year. This is pretty fresh. It's been out maybe one or two months. And um, I have this and uh, one other character from the Scavengers series. They're about 35 bucks each. This guy, as you can see, comes with the little dog. The little dog actually has his own gas mask. The guy also comes with a uh, metal detector so he can go scavenge on, uh, on the beach. And um, he also has a pack that uh, he's wearing and the pack has a bedroll and it also has um, a kind of a clasp so you can hang this kind of futuristic cool shovel and there's two sort of pockets on the side where you can put like a uh, weapon comes with a uh, kind of a sawed off shotgun and um, the pack comes off you can uh, ditch that if you want and um, and have the guy just roll a little bit loose uh, which is what I did I took him to the beach which is about two blocks from the studio here the uh, Willamette River and I went to this little spot where um, it's not necessarily advertised as to um, how you get through it but it's a little strip of public land that you can walk down to and there's a very small opening in a bunch of berry bushes and some giant rocks that form a stairway and you can get onto this beach and it's a cool place because you don't see uh, hardly anybody there ever, per se. Once in a while, you see somebody there, but mostly get the whole place to yourself. Do whatever you want. So we took Simon and Spud there. And um, the kind of sole purpose was to get some sort of shots of him on the beach and just see what this guy looks like. Now, because this wasn't a commercial shoot, this was just kind of a fun go and um, get some shots of this dude and see what it looks like. Um, I did not use the uh, DSLR camera. I only used an iPhone 11 for this. I left the camera behind because if you take that, you of course have to bring it in some kind of a bag. You need some lenses, right? You need some slow glass lenses for outside or you need some sort of uh, ND filters. Um, it's also very difficult to see the LCD outside so you should just bring like some type of an umbrella and you might as well bring a 7 inch Lilliput monitor and a uh, HDMI cable and of course you're going to need a small compact tripod that allows you to put the camera down and get in front of it. It's a lot of work if you're just going out for an hour to goof around, you know what I mean? You don't have to make this into a big ordeal every time but if it was a commercial shoot you know, if um, someone had given you some toys and paid you to go make some kind of cool art shots with it or whatever, uh, you would definitely want to bring all that stuff. There's no doubt about it. But for this, we're just going to uh, go iPhone. And um, it also gives you this kind of um, surreal quality where things look kind of ultra real. And uh, for outdoor shots, I kind of like that. Also, of course, it takes care of your your ISO and shutter speed and color balance and things like that that you're, you know, 
usually everybody has to um, spend a lot of time wrangling with. So uh, eats into the whole setup. Let's uh, get through uh, some of these shots now. And I'm going to show you guys what they look like just in the natural light. And I'm going to show you what happens when you bring in um, essentially your bounce card, which is uh, right here. It's just a uh, piece of foam that one side has gold, one side has silver. This is for daylight. This is for indoors, that kind of thing. Or uh, incandescent lighting, I should say, the old light bulb school, or even mixed lighting for that matter. It might be good to go gold. Or if you're just trying to achieve that kind of uh, ambience, like I did some Indiana Jones action figure pics inside a Playmobil pyramid. And of course, I shown some gold light on it because it's kind of the look of those, those movies, especially Raiders. All right, so here is the first pic right out of the gate I took with this guy, I slapped him down on the ground. Um, we're not using his backpack for this because it just creates another like weird shape on the back that the eye can't figure out. You can see this guy is wearing tons of like little armor bits and uh, you know uh, pouches and p bits of armor sort of strapped on, right? So anything more is just going to look unusual. We did of course take the metal detector and I have a shovel in his hand. And of course, the dog is here with the uh, gas mask on. And so this very first shot right out of the gate um, looks to me, looks real. Looks like you can uh, like you're on the beach and you can feel the wind hitting the dog. I think this one's particularly, uh, particularly cool. It's a great one to start with. This is the same shot, but from behind also looks um, with the ground here uh, lit like that looks kind of ultra real, but not a particularly great pose, composition, etc just looks like a um, uh, fake fake shot to make you think that they're real. All right, this is a test shot where we are looking to see if we can put his back uh, directly to the river because in these shots, what I really want to do is to make this work with this guy on the beach and his metal detector, you need to show water. And so I want to get as much water in and so I'm doing a shot to see when I put the most water behind him how much light is on him and you can see it's almost completely at his side. You can't see anything about his face etc. So this tells me that we're going to have to turn him into the light quite a bit and move the camera to a spot where he's lit but I can still get the river behind him. Uh, that is clutch to this whole thing and of course we get this shot, he's slightly turned, you can see the dog uh, looking at whatever he's looking at, they're both kind of focused on the um, metal detector. You get a lot of the water behind. It's a great kind of cool ultra art shot. And um, here's a shot just sort of straight on because I wanted to get some good lighting but of course there's no water in this. I like that they're both looking at the camera. Uh, something that's kind of terrible that you have to um, look at is, of course, in this I'm battling these terrible shadows. In the case of this shadow, it looks exactly like the metal detector itself. So it looks like the metal detector is this big, giant, weird thing. And this is going to be something that's going to be a struggle to work with. And in fact, um, what needs to happen is need to paint the metal detector something not black uh, that will help with any shadows. But of course, there's a few things we're going to do to lessen the shadows coming up here. Just want to get through a couple more shots to uh, show you what these sort of artistic outdoor shots look like with the strong lighting on his right side. And then he's kind of in shadow. Uh, this one, the dog I had looking at the camera, he's a little bit blurry because he's out of focus, but it makes you think like it's a little bit blurry because he's in motion. He was running up to the camera. I think that's kind of cute keep that idea for later where you have a guy trudging along and uh, of course you have the uh, the dog uh, you know running away from him looking at the guy with the camera all right so here is a uh, solo shot of the guy you got to get some pics of just the dude without the dog that's very important also um, because the dog's not in the shot the uh, Shadow doesn't look as weird because it's not like kind of merging into the dog or taking up the space in between the dog and the metal detector. And I also put the metal detector as low to the ground as I could get. So this looks pretty good to me as far as kind of a cool art shot of just the guy on the beach. 
you can also see that uh, I had a problem before. If we go back with uh, the shovel, you can never really tell what it was. And it also has, uh, except for that shot looks really good, but a lot of times it's just sort of this thin thing. And you couldn't really tell it too much apart from the guy's outfit. It kind of blends in on a lot of these shots. And you have to take that into account with these accessories. You have to turn them and make sure that you get a good uh, plane to the camera. Otherwise, it just looks like some thin thing. So here we see this guy. And this is just with the natural light from uh, the sun. This is not quite um, the uh, magic hour. This is about maybe an hour before the magic hour-ish. But it's towards the end of the day. And um, that's the same shot, but here I've shoehorned in the dog, basically, just to uh, go back to that, to get them both in camera. Okay, so now this shot is where I've taken the bounce card, and I am using it, shining it, uh, originally to try and lessen the shadows, but I'm really lighting up the left side of him. So if you go back and you look at just the shoulder here, you can see it's pretty dark. And then when we go to the bounce card, you can see it's fully lit. Now, to me, I think there's uh, another one. If you look at this, and this is with the bounce card, it looks like studio lighting. It looks like this ground is just sand on a table in a little sandbox. And at some point it ends and there's like a green screen and there's just like a blurry image put in there and that this guy is under studio light. It looks totally artificially uh, created in a lab, but in fact, it is done outdoors in the series that you just saw, but with the bounce card on him. And uh, here's one where you can actually see the bounce card is in the shot. What you do is you just kind of uh, aim it at the guy and, uh, and see what you get. Here's a great shot of just the guy with the full bounce on him. You can see the shovel. This is kind of, without the dog, this is about as good as the shot's going to get of just walking down to the beach with your iPhone. And to give you one more, uh, I think this one's great too, just the straight on. But to give you one more idea of this, here is this um, Lightning Collection Piranha Head guy, Power Rangers. You saw him at a Goodwill. I was like, I love fishmen. These are cool. So here's this guy kind of, you know, what can I do with him? Oh, I can climb out of the water. And you can see here that the whole fin on the left side of his head, it's pretty dark and you can see how it's just sort of uh, light as the light is cutting across. But when I put the bounce on him, um, it's like it's lit up the whole side of his face. It's still quite a bit dark, but it matches the other side and it looks pretty good. And so it's a great way to um, get your outdoor photos uh, shifted from art shots, which is like the first shots I showed you where it looked like um, a dude on the beach and you couldn't tell it, it wasn't real per se. I mean, the dog, the guy you could tell was kind of fake, but the dog looked pretty real, right? And then later on, they look like catalog photo shots and uh, all done outdoors. I had no other light source with me other than this, um, this one card here. So uh, that's it for this sort of end of the week episode of the Action Figuratorium. Thank you to everybody who makes it this far in the video, and I will catch everybody on the next one. Mm -hmm.